Uh, here at Nakasoro, we offer a variety of services. These services range from uh, pregnancy related services and other gynecological services. So, as a gynecologist, I offer services to women during pregnancy and even when they are not pregnant. And during pregnancy, we offer antenatal services, antenatal counseling, we offer delivery services. These delivery services range from normal delivery to cesarean sections. Yes. And then if you are not pregnant, we offer other gynecological services. Do you have any uh, reproductive health problems? Are you not able to have children? Do you have any infections? And then we also offer screening services for cancers of women, including breast cancer. So one of the cancers that I commonly screen is cancer of the cervix. Uh, this week, we, we are dedicating this week for actually the whole month for talking about cancer of the cervix. Yeah, cancer of the cervix is one of the commonest cancers of women. Among gynecological cancers, it is the leading cause of death of women from cancer. If you go to Mulago Hospital, where the Cancer Institute is, majority of those women who suffer from reproductive cancers, cancer of the cervix is the leading cause of admission, the leading cause of death. Globally, cancer of the cervix is the second leading cause of death of women. The first is breast cancer. In Uganda, cancer of the cervix contributes to about 67 deaths out of 100,000 women. That is quite high. So therefore we want to pay attention to cancer of the cervix. So cancer of the cervix is a cancer that affects the opening of the uterus. And this cancer is preventable. The cause of this cancer is an infection and this infection is sexually transmitted. And the infection is a virus, and this virus is called human papilloma virus. There are very many types of, about 200 types of human papilloma virus, but there are few that are related to cancer of the cervix. So we want to emphasize the issue of how do we prevent this infection? How do we prevent people from, from developing cancer of the cervix? That is the most important thing. However, Cancer of the cervix is one of the most it's one of the difficult conditions to manage because most people pre pre present themselves for care when it is late. One of the symptoms people usually present with a abnormal vaginal discharge which can look like pus sometimes with blood and have a bad smell. Some people have some bleeding that occurs during sexual intercourse or when they are cleaning themselves up. Some people come when they're already having problems of passing urine, problems passing stool. Those are late stages. And most, unfortunately, most of our people present when they're having these symptoms. As I said, cancer of the cervix is preventable. And it is preventable means that you have to screen for it. When you screen for it, were able to identify the problems early. And the problems we identify early are to look at the changes in the cervix that we think can progress to cancer of the cervix. So when we identify these changes in the cervix, we're able to treat them in time so that they don't progress to cancer of the cervix. Now, who is likely to have cancer of the cervix? Any woman in a reproductive age and beyond can develop cancer of the cervix. That is why we want every woman who is sexually active from 21 years onwards to come for screening of cancer of the cervix. So what do we do during screening of cancer of the cervix? We have three methods. The, there is one which is called VIA. VIA is visual inspection and acetic acid. That one is one of the low types, it's low quality. At Nakasero, we don't do it. We do pap smear, which is the gold standard for screening for cancer of the cervix. During pap smear, we, do, we take a sample from the cervix. We don't cut. 
we don't prick. We put a sm speculum, a small instrument that makes us have a look at the opening of the uterus, and then we sweep so as to pick some cells from the cervix and we put them on a glass slide, we look at them under the microscope. So if we see abnormal cells, we're able to tell that there's abnormal change taking place in the cervix and these changes, we can grade them and say this one we can watch, this one is likely to progress, so let's give it a treatment. And there are various forms of treatment that we can offer for those changes so as to achieve cure. And this pap smear, we do it every three years for those who have tested initially and they are negative after every three years we do it another test that we do is a dna pcr we look for that virus in cervical sample so when we take swabs from the cervix we're able to test that for the virus that causes the cancer of the cervix so if we test it is negative you can repeat it after five years because that is specific to that virus that causes cancer of the cervix. So if it is positive, you can repeat that test after three years, just like a pap smear. Together with the pap smear, you can be doing them together with the pap smear so that we're able to see if there are changes. Having a positive test for HPV does not mean that you have cancer of the cervix. No. Having a positive pap smear does not mean you have cancer of the cervix. It means you have a condition that can make cause changes in the cervix that can develop into cancer of the cervix. So you will need monitoring. If there are already changes in the cervix, you need treatment. If it is just the virus, you just need monitoring. Yes, so that is how we are able to identify the abnormal changes in the cervix that lead to cancer of the cervix in time to offer you treatment and cure so that you don't develop cancer of the cervix. One of the most important things in prevention is actually screening. Be able to do the pap smear if you can afford do the DNA PCR so that you're able to know if you have any abnormal changes. But one thing the government of Uganda has done is in, they have introduced the uh, HPV vaccine which we start giving for children from the age of 9 to 10 years and anyone even an adult can receive HPV vaccine including boys not just girls because this HPV virus also causes cancer of the penis in men causes cancer of the cervix that's why we are concerned for men you are able to see from outside here immediately that you have something abnormal on your on your genital okay Yes, so for women, they are not able to see. So that's why they present late. For men, they're able to present early. Yes, we have this vaccine at Nakasero Hospital, and we actually give it free of charge because it is supplied by government of Uganda. The extension is one of the most exciting uh, developments we have at Nakasero Hospital. Nakasero Hospital is a very busy hospital, and we have always had issues of lack of space. Now that we're expanding and we have enough space, we're able to offer more quality service, timely service, ambience, you know, touch and feel that you are getting good care, you are getting good accommodation, timely care. Because now we're going to have more rooms for doctors to, to attend to you, so you'll have shorter times to wait for doctors. So everything is going to be very exciting.